Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Zemo the Dad in DPS and we are back with another video. Now if you didn't know, the new patch is nigh and that is Test Your Metal patch, uh, let's see what number it is, it is patch 164. Six zero, and that also has the season nine scoreboard now what does this mean it means we're getting a lot of stuff that we can talk about today now let's go over to the uh the patch notes but before we do don't forget to leave a like a comment and subscribe so as you can see the test your metal update now we have a bunch of different highlights here we've got the three new events which subsequently have you fighting the rust eagle robots the gulper horde over at the Moonshine Jamboree and in the Victory Notice we're fighting off Super Mutants. Each one of these new events comes with their own set of rewards and has their own set of different things that you need to do. But I'll leave that for you to discover in game because quite frankly, yeah, you're going to have to just play it to do it. Um, we're also getting the Dread Island scoreboard with all the rewards, some pirate themes, some not. And then we're getting Fallout First Enhancements where we are actually going to get more score and basically be able to get through that scoreboard quicker if you've got Fallout First, which is about time that they did something for Fallout First members because they have been paying for a long time and not getting a lot out of it. Now, there is another Corpse Highlight feature which is going to allow enemies that have been slain to glow or at least highlight on your uh, heads up display which is going to be a lot easier to find them and then our update versions so steam is getting a 17.3 pc on the microsoft store is 26.3 playstation is 25.8 and xbox is 24.6 so we've all got varying <laughs> amounts that we can get now i won't go specifically into the events themselves but i will say that each one of these events has been added into the pool of events that can show up every 20 minutes so if you see that event that pops up with an explanation mark it's in the pool of that you might not see these events for a while yeah you could be days you could be a week for all i know it just depends on luck of the draw and when you're logging into servers they will show up eventually you just need to wait and be patient i know it's annoying but it is what it is unless um bethesda's done something to make it a bit more active in the beginning now with the season 9 scoreboard we're getting the new radio station the pirate radio which will have uh, the a play that follows anna emilio and hart um following through red uh, red island dead uh, red island and all its perils this is quite a cool thing for content creators because a lot of the radio stations have copyrighted music this will not as far as i'm aware unless it has music in the background but at least the radio shows are going to be unique and pretty interesting to listen to and i'm looking forward to to listening to them and seeing what's going on now again you can spot fallen enemies more easily you go into the displays tab and the settings menu and then you can change your corpse highlight details now this might make like the enemy glow a certain color i'm really not sure i'm assuming it's going to be like the the pit boy settings where you can change the color depending on what you want to see um green would probably be the easiest one to see out of all of them might just green glow green as default but that is what it is now we have a lot of critical hit bonus changes now as you can see it's saying here that critical hit damage bonuses are now additive what this means is that is a nerf to critical hit bo well, damage bonuses however each thing that boots critical damage and bonuses is going up so you can see here it's going from 20 30 and 40 to 50 75 and 100 for the better criticals perk you've got the standard mod receiver with 68 to 100 um auto receiver mod 36 to 50 overdrive 15 to 30 eagles eyes mutation from 25 to 60 with strange and numbers perks 32 to 75 the tesla science magazine 15 to 50 firecracker bear just 10 to 25 various health uh, well various regenerative items um to 20 to 50 and magazines from 30 to 10 uh, to 100 percent so it'll take a while before we figure out whether this is going to buff the damage or nerf the damage fully um i'm sure we'll get a lot of people testing a lot of different things and we'll come to a conclusion in the near future one thing i would add is explosive damage was meant to be getting put into the crit pool i am not seeing anything here maybe it's further down but i'm not seeing it now in terms of bug fixes it's all your standard stuff you know things clipping through other things npcs doing something weird um corpses flying into the air and things just not displaying properly there's nothing incredibly important here nothing that i would say is too 
crazy because it's the art bit. The ally one, it's the same kind of thing. Um, we've got camps and workshops got the same kind of uh, clipping issues, things not appearing properly, allies not being able to remove their things. In combat, however, we have firing stealth weapons no longer makes enemies instantly detect the player. This is a very important one as far as I'm concerned because what's the point of self if the enemies somehow know you're there? Um, then the rest of them are all relatively based on VATs and other random things. So if, again, you need to look at these things in depth, I'll leave the link down below, you'll be able to see it there. Now, in enemies, none of these are too big an issue. Um, Gutsies, handy robots are cycling for the weapons properly now. Um, Blood Eagle cutthroats appearing near Picket Fort and reacting to players' presence. Um, in events, again, it's a lot of just the usual stuff where things aren't acting as they should be during events and they are just basically fixing it so that they will. Again, all the information will be left down below because this entire page will be there. Now, Fallout Worlds, fixed an issue when which characters were linked to a shared custom world could still join that world after the owner had deleted it. Now that one is a weird one. I, I hadn't heard of it, but I suppose that would be potentially annoying, um, especially if it hampered the person who created the world and then they couldn't like do anything or create a new one because their deleted world still technically existed. Now, the next part down here is armor fixes for the most part. Now we've got a bunch of armor fixes that cause things to do the things that they are meant to do. Like for example, wood armor now correctly, the shrouding mod correctly basically making you stealthy. Um, the foreign armor correctly displaying that it deals 250 damage. Um, yada yada. Um, and then it's pretty much just a visual bug involving the high capacity mod. That one's been about for a while, so thank God that's away. The two things here that are imp uh, well important is exploits. Now we have the one that would increase the size of a weapons magazine. In theory they've taken that away. I've heard that before. I will wait until I physically see that being a thing before I put any judgement on it. The next one however is a very important one. And dress the next point in which it was possible to duplicate a set of power armour. Jesus Christ. Thank God that is gone from the game. That's going to make things a lot better in general. The rest of these are all related to things not displaying as properly, um, with the exception of the handmade mod, uh, the tweaked receiver now does critical damage, um, the flamer and the cryolator were not uh, taking condition damage properly, flamer is reducing its damage it takes from, um, from condition, and the cryolator is now taking condition damage. The last one is rewards about nuclear winter mode uh, when they did it. So if you hadn't got your rewards from stuff like that before, um, I'm surprised. Next part is perk cards. The Sandman card no longer provides a different sneak attack bonus when equipped before or after the covert ops perk card. Additionally, the sneak attack bonus from Mr. Sandman has been doubled at all ranks. So that's a relatively decent buff from Mr. Sandman. Um, oh, what has happened there? We'll jump back to that page. So that's a decent buff from Mr. Sandman. Quick hands, fixing an issue that caused quick hands perk to trigger more often than intended. So that has been, in theory, nerfed, um, which is unfortunate. Fix an issue that could cause super du duper card fanfare to play even if the perk hadn't triggered. So that's just a sound bug more than anything. So it hasn't been nerfed, hasn't been buffed, it's just not playing the sound when it's not actually went off. Sound, daily ops music no longer plays in the tier cells when you aren't participating at daily ops. And then we've got a couple of user interface ones, challenge trackers, uh, Multiple challenge in quick succession no longer causes challenge to visually duplicate in the challenge tracker. Notifications following a successful sneak attack of a melee weapon, the notification now correctly appear to inform the player has dealt the bonus damage. Player vendor machines um, now inspect items listed from sale and other players' vendor machines and the preview items are now collectively appearing. So that's just a display bug, um, hopefully. Address an issue in which a public event would sometimes not appear in the quest track or fast traveling. That's a good one. And follow first rewards for previous achieved ranks now appear normally. Trade legendary item preview and player trade menus now display correctly. Perfect. So that's pretty much that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for coming along and we'll catch you next time in the wasteland.
that was today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave a like a comment and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel there are several means you can click that uh coffee button to donate to me directly there's also our teespring for the merch that you can see on screen right now as well as our youtube member button and the new super thanks button so if you'd like to support the channel don't forget to hit any of them now on the note of our members let's thank them